your boy JP. Alright, I haven't made a video in a long time. But, figure March Madness is uh, here. Alright, gotta, gotta make a video for this. It's like my favorite time of the year. Love March Madness. Now, brackets came out tonight. And, you know, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a tough year. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be to do a bracket. But, you know, any, anything really could happen. You know, there's a lot of potential, you know, tough Sweet 16 games. You know, Kansas versus Maryland, that's one that could go either way. You know, um... There's a lot of tough teams, a lot of tough games. You know, Kansas would possibly have to go through Maryland. Um, what was the other one? Miami, and then possibly Oklahoma. So they they have a tough road. Those are three three teams that they could possibly face, and uh, or Villanova depending on who wins that Miami Villanova game. But it this year's it's been so up and down. You know, it's it's wide open. But as a, I watch the uh conference tournaments, you know, that's when you can tell, you know, okay, who do I gotta pay attention to? You know who was I impressed with the most? North Carolina, Kansas. Both of those teams and Michigan State have been playing very good basketball. And I think those three teams can go very far. You know, in my final four, I have Kansas, I have Oklahoma, I have North Carolina, and I have Michigan State. So two number one seeds, okay, and I have Kansas and North Carolina in the title game. I have North Carolina over Kansas. Now, a lot of people, from what I've heard, have Michigan State, and that also could happen. You know, Michigan State, North Carolina. I believe that would be a great game. Fantastic. Okay. Both of those teams very experienced. They all came back. Marcus Page came back for another year when he could have easily went pro. You know, Tom Izzo always gets his boys ready. You know, that's why I'm a little scared about that one right there. Because that game very well could go either way, but I just think, you know, North Carolina, you know, the way they're starting to play, this is the way that a lot of people thought that they were going to play the whole entire season. But unfortunately, it hasn't worked like that, you know. But somebody could surprise us, you know. Somebody could surprise us who a lot of us don't think that are going to get there, and they get there, you know. There's some some very, you know, good teams who were in there that could get there, like your know, Miami, Villanova, you know, Maryland who I mentioned earlier. Uh so those three teams right there, you know, Oregon, they're a tough, tough basketball team, so they could get there. Um I'm going to throw out some uh, potential spoilers. I think Pittsburgh could make a run at the Sweet 16. I think I have them losing in the third round, though. Uh, I think Michigan could make a run at the Sweet 16. They're playing good of late. Um, you know... Uh, Seton Hall, watch out for them. I think they make a run to Sweet 16. Very, very impressed with them. 
So, um, some some good uh, playing games. You know, a lot of people saying well, Vandy, Wichita State. It's probably the best playing game we've ever had, and I agree. All right. Now, let me get to Syracuse. Okay. Now, I had a feeling all day that they were going to get in. You know, a lot of people told me, oh, I think they'll be like a 13, 14 seed. I didn't think they'd be that low. I figured they would be right where they are at a 10 seed. They would be a 10 or 11, you know, or even a 12. But I thought, figured they'd be between a 10 and a 12. And they draw at 8. And so I think they can win that game. But then I think their uh, road ends uh, against Michigan State. Michigan State's just got too much firepower. You know, very, very talented, experienced team. I think Syracuse could hang with them, but then I think they would just get worn out. Michigan State just too much. But it's going to be interesting, man. Can't wait. You know, it's Cod Festival been wide open this year. So it'll be interesting. Another team too, Virginia, have been playing well too. So, you know, we'll see. Uh gonna be interesting. Uh playing games start Tuesday night, Wednesday too. But then all the ball games they start uh Thursday at high noon. All day and all night. Doesn't get any better. Alright. It's going to be awesome, baby, with a capital A. A little Dick Vitale there for you. Alright, folks. You have a good night. Bye-bye.